As most of you know, VR and Linux are like oil and water. They don't mix too well. And this is a bummer because VR games are really, really fun to play. I've had this quest since Black Friday, and I've played FNAF, I've played Beat Saber, I've done Gravity Sketch, and they're all super fun things to do on the quest. But let's say I want to play games like Half-Life Alex or... I want to play No Man's Sky, right? You can't do that on Linux for the most part, especially not with the Quest. Because for the Quest to work, you have to first connect it to the Oculus app, and then you have to connect it via the Link software, and then you can connect it to Steam, right? So you can play all your VR games. But that doesn't work under Linux because the Oculus app needs special windows runtimes which wine can't emulate and therefore you can't run it if you try to nothing pops up right so we need a way around this and thankfully there is a way around it and it's called alvr so what it does is it basically takes steam vr input and tricks it to thinking that you have a headset connected when you really don't and then it streams that gameplay to your quest from your pc and then you use the quest to control it and it relays that information back to Steam, and Steam uses that to let you play the game. It's almost like cloud gaming on your local Wi-Fi network for VR. So it's a really cool thing, and you can get it working under Manjaro and most other Linux distributions, but today we're just going to be going through Arch-based like Manjaro. So one of the first things you want to check out is you want to check out the github for it right so here i have the github and i'm also going to put it in the description below but basically this github has everything you need there's installations there's setting guides so everything you'll want it's documented in this github right here but without talking too much let's get right into it so first note i want to make this is a VM I made just for this. It's a fresh Manjaro thing. The only thing I changed was the background to, um, I forgot even what it's called. I think it's like Bamboo Night or something like that because it's too bright for me to record with. All right, it makes my face really blurry. So that's the only thing I've done. Okay, so you're gonna open up your terminal and you just wanna run sudo pacman-syu to update your system, make sure everything's up to date. And once you've got that, you're gonna need a package. Uh, and the one you're going to need is you're going to need to do sudo pacman dash s and it is base dash delve. There we go. Dot you. Whoops. There we go. Uh, you're just going to hit enter, you're going to hit yes. And without this, when you try to build the package, so make package build dash S I R C, it is not going to work. It's going to say that it cannot resolve fake root binaries. And that's because to use the AUR, you need this package. So we're done. As you can see, it's finished installing. So now we are going to, if you want to just get this done with really quick, it's really simple, you're going to use yay. Uh, I know that's not what a lot of people prefer, but it's just the simplest for this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to do sudo pacman dash s yay. Yes, and there we go. So we're going to install yay. And what yay is, is it's an AUR helper. Okay. So now that we have yay, we're going to do yay dash s, and then you're going to type in alvr. Two of them are going to pop up, alvr or alvr dash git, doesn't matter which one you choose. So this, I'm just going to go with the defaults. It's then going to ask you for Vulkan drivers. Um, this is a VM, so it doesn't really matter which one I choose, but in my actual host system, I have an, an AMD GPU, right? So I'm going to choose AMD VLK. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to choose one of the other ones. So I'm just going to go ahead with the default. Just keep hitting enter, hit yes. None, you don't need to take a look at those. You can if you want. 
yes and then it will start downloading it and this should go all the way through till the end now let's say that it that was not your preferred method of installation and you don't want to use yay it's okay we can get around that so what we're going to do is we are going to open up a web browser and we're going to go to the aur right arch user repository in the search box you're going to type in alvr and we're going to see alvr and alvr dash get the same options we had with yay I'm just going to do the first one. I'm going to copy this link. I am going to do git clone. Oh, and if you don't have git, you'll need to install git. Control shift V. There we go. And we're done. So now we're going to cd alvr ls, and you'll see we have a package build file in there. So we're going to do make pkg dash sirc. Okay, so we're going to have an error. It says cannot install dependencies ffmpeg dash Vulcan target not found. That's okay. We can do git clone. Oh, maybe not in this directory. cd dash dash to go back to our home directory. Git clone. And if you go back to the AUR, you will see here you have ffmpeg dash Vulcan. You're going to go ahead and click on that. You're going to click on this. You're going to click copy link. Close that out. Control shift B. Uh, and you see we have it. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's done. We're going to do CD FFM. Tab should be enough now. There you go. LS. And then we're going to do mm, that same command. Make package build. EKG. Okay. And it's starting. And we should be good from here. You're just going to wait until it finishes. And I will see you guys in a little bit. A couple times throughout the installation, it might ask you for your root password. So just go ahead and type that in. So. And go ahead and hit yes. Yes. There we go. So this one's finished up with... Uh, the ffmpeg dash Vulcan and this one has finished completely. So, yeah. Um, so if you're on the yay step, you're done at the end, right? That's it for you. But if you decided to go through uh, the AUR and use git clone, you're going to need to do one more thing. You're going to have to go back, right? We're going to go back to our home directory. Oops. We are going to go into ALVR and now we're going to do make package because now we have FFmpeg uh, installed so that dependency should now be resolved. I'm just going to go ahead and enter, hit yes and now it'll start up for you so you're gonna have to wait for this to finish and i don't recommend doing them both on your system i don't see why you would do both uh yay is the easier install and a lot of people don't like the aur helpers though so this is the other way so once you've done that and you've finished all those package builds and everything else, you're done. You've got ALVR on your PC. So now we want to try and see if it launches, right? So we are going to go and we're going to do, we're going to open up KRunner. We're going to do, oh, not that one. There we go, that one. Let's open it on my main desktop. We are going to do Steam which should come pre-installed on Manjaro, right? Because it's now the officially supported distro. So you see Steam is opening here, and you're going to go ahead and let it update and get logged into your Steam account. Okay, so once you're logged into Steam, what we want to go and do is go to your library, and you want to search for Steam VR. Right. 
So it seems like we do not. There we go. So Steam VR, and if you don't have it, you will want to install it. It's a very quick install. It should not take long at all. But while this is taking place, finish. While this is taking place, let's go ahead and set up ALVR on the Quest. So it's a very simple process. What you want to do is you can either use App Lab or SideQuest. You're going to plug in a USB-C cable right here. You're going to plug it into your PC and you're going to sideload it, right? It's a very common thing. Almost everyone does it with the Quest because, let's face it, all the good games on the Quest are not supported by the Quest. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and show you guys what to do from here. So welcome everyone, we are currently in our VR menu, we're going to go to apps, we're going to go to all, and we're going to scroll down to this unknown sources tab over here, you see we have alvr.client.quest, we're going to go ahead and hit that, and then you will see that your headset is connecting to your PC. Steam VR has finished downloading. So we're going to go ahead and hit launch. And it says that it requires super user access to finish setup. So just go ahead and hit yes, type in your password. And there we go. We can see that it's down here and that we have a problem. It says, please plug in your VR headset. Do not, I repeat, do not plug this in with your link cable. It will do nothing. Do not do that. What you actually want to do is you want to close everything here. Close the entire thing. You're going to open up KRunner again, and you're going to type in ALVR, and you're going to launch ALVR. It's going to say waiting for some. Give it a quick second. And VR is going to pop up, and it's going to say your headset's battery is low. But you'll notice we don't have ALVR open anywhere. And that's because for ALVR to work, you need Chromium. So we're going to go to the add and remove software or we can download this through the AUR. This is just easier. We're going to search for Chrome. There we go. Look, Chromium. Okay, download Chromium. Hit apply. Uh, choose. Go ahead and type in your password. and hit apply once more. Feel free to close SteamVR at this point. All we needed to do was get this to open up. Sometimes it doesn't work if you don't open Steam at least once with it. I don't know why, this is just one of the quirks of it. This is the only way I've gotten it to run. So make sure you just open it once beforehand. You can close Steam VR, and Chromium should be just about finished. There we go, okay, it's installed. So you don't need to do anything with Chromium. As long as you have it, you're all good. We're going to type in, we're going to hit Alt and Space one more time to open up KRunner. And you're just going to hit Enter again because ALVR should be the last thing that was looked up. And you can see we have this screen. Steam VR has just opened. And yeah, that's it. You've got it working now. Um, their reason why this doesn't work is because this is done in a VM. I'll go ahead and switch to my actual system right now so I can show you guys what it looks like when you have ALVR running. So we don't need this anymore. We can just hit leave full screen, hit close on that. We'll open up Kiran and do ALVR. There we go. And there we go. ALVR is open. Side note, if you have a firewall, you might need to play around with the settings just for right now because it might not work, right? As you can see, it's not connecting to the trusted client, even though I've had the Quest open, it should automatically pair with it because it's, they're on the same Wi-Fi network. So you might have to disable your firewall for this. Mine is... Uh, UFW, so there you go, pseudo system control stop UFW, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, it's going to ask for my password, there we go, we're all good.
take this, put it back on. And the stream has begun. So, so you should see a screen like this when it first starts up. And you will notice that you're not going to be able to do much from here. You can kind of just look around and see some visual artifacts. Don't worry about that. That's, I don't know what it is. It's just a funky thing that happens right here. So what you can do is go to Steam on your headset, on your computer, and you can launch a game. In this case, I'm going to do No Man's Sky. That's just the best one. And... Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we've got it. There you can see Hello Games. See the startup screen, grab the controllers, hit play game, uh, load save from yesterday. <laughs> and yeah, that it is. Um, it's No Man's Sky on ALVR through Steam. And I can just walk away as long as I'm decently close to my Wi Fi router. I should just be able to play the game normally. And <laughs> I think that's really cool. So, in conclusion, we've gotten Steam VR to work through ALVR. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, uh, dropping like is always appreciated. And thank you for spending your time.